Good morning. It's 5 a.m. and I am up super early because I'm on a mission to show you the best beaches in Bali before anybody gets there. I live in Canggu and while Canggu has some cool beaches, they're not the most beautiful. So we're gonna hop in a car, drive an hour south down to Uluwatu, Bali's little peninsula, where there's white sand beaches, turquoise water, and if we get there early enough, no people. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get in the car. I'm probably gonna fall back asleep. Let's just go. At the back of the house, where a high school teacher caught us when making out. You and me, perfect strangers, but really not at the same time. Nothing can come between us. You Good morning from Dreamland Beach. Hi, I'm Lisa. <laughs> this is my friend Lisa. Lisa is from the Netherlands, and we are doing a five best beaches in Uluwatu tour. We got up at what time? Four, around four. Met at five o'clock, jumped in the car, and we're at Dreamland super early because after eight o'clock, you don't wanna come here. It's super crowded, super touristy, but right now, there's nobody. It's just us. Yes, and him, and the cameraman. <laughs> and some other guys back there, and a lot of dogs. After 8 a.m., we're gonna show you the best beaches to see after 8 a.m. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> you know what I mean. We're staying alive, alive forever, alive. So hear me out, telling you now we're gonna go all the way up. Cause we got it all figured it out. For the both of us, we've been rolling out, top down, telling you now. Okay, so it's 6 20. We just finished with our first beach, Dreamland Beach, and now we're gonna go to Greenville Beach. Let's go. Okay, so we're at Greenville Beach in Uluwatu, and this beach is more off the beaten path in that you have to climb down 300 stairs. You have to climb down 300 stairs, but then you have to climb back up 300 stairs. So a lot of people, as you can imagine, don't come down here, but if you are in for a workout, it's perfect. This is a really good surfer's beach in that it's really good break and high tide. So at the top when we were just coming down, there's a bunch of sexy surfer dudes with their boards. They carry down all these stairs um, and do the surfing. <laughs> there's 300 steps to the top these women they carry down coconuts and water and snacks and you're gonna pay a little bit extra but it's worth it because they've literally carried this stuff down on their head 300 steps from the top Okay, so we're driving to Malasti Beach right now, and we just drove through a checkpoint, and we had to pay 10,000 each um, to enter. Expensive. So, my camera guy, Luca, is it recording? Hello. Luca is also my fixer for the day, and he says if we go up those stairs, what? You can see the clear white sand, the clear water, and then dark blue water. Up here. And then where are we going? And then we're going down. Why? because there's no rocks and you can swim. Let's go. The corals are pretty far out, which makes it a perfect swimming beach. Like most beaches in Bali, come before nine o'clock. I think it's about 8 a.m. right now, and we passed two or three people sunbathing on the entire stretch of beach. The second pro tip is enter on the western entrance. I'll leave a little link below, um, but when you enter on this side, you automatically get like the best part of the beaches. <laughs>
there's a couple beach clubs down here. There's Parma Beach and they're opening Palm Villa down here. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. It's about 8.30 I think right now and there's no one here. It's no just one. us. So that's when you want to come. We're on beach number four. This is Thomas Beach. Um, we had to climb downstairs again, but they weren't that bad. But Thomas Beach is really cool because you have all these restaurants and little beach shacks and you can rent an umbrella. So it's like the perfect place to spend the day. And that's what we are going to do. We've been up since five o'clock, some of us since three o'clock. Basically happy hour. <laughs> Beers for breakfast. Cheers. 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 We're at the entrance to Suluban Beach. And the entrance to Suluban Beach is this insane like system of caves. But when the tide is high, you can't get through. So you have to come at low tide if you're gonna come to Suluban Beach. Let's go. Everybody usually enters Silicon Beach on the right side, but you want to come and enter Sloan Beach on the left. a lot more splashy splashy places to go in the water thanks for joining me on this adventure like subscribe comment below if there's a beach that i missed that you think i should see see you in the next video hey guys if you didn't know already i write the number one travel guidebook series for women before you come to bali order your bali guidebook it's full of all my best bali travel tips and most epic adventures i'll leave a link below